Hello and welcome to another update video about Gala. Yeah, I was hoping for a little bit of price action, but Gala continues to move in this descending wedge. Uh, we have enough touch points to define a descending wedge. I'm still looking at the chart as a potential one to set up. Yeah, so the wave one to the upside, A wave down, overshooting B wave. The C wave might already be finished. We certainly have enough waves. We have five waves down, but we're waiting now for a sign that... Um, Gala has bottomed. So far, I haven't got that. It made an attempt and it could rally at any time, really. That can happen at any time, but I would need to see a break above the descending wedge upper boundary line to confirm that a rally has started in a third wave. If that rally has started in a third wave, the first micro resistance level is the wave one high here, this small rally. This small one two setup is currently only an idea. It's a potential, but the market hasn't used it yet. So we need to first break above that high. That's at 2.6 cents. Then the more relevant swing high and breakout level is at 2.84. Getting above that level would seriously increase probabilities that we're already in the third wave. Then we have some resistance here, the previous swing highs of that wave four at 3.1 cents and then 3.55. These are all resistances that could provide some yeah, resistance along the way. Ultimately, if we really get a third wave, circle wave three here, target should be around four cents if I remember correctly. We can just double check that. We take the length of the wave one, go to the low of the wave two, and the target would be the 1.618 extension. Yeah, just below four cents, 3.83. That is the minimum expectation you would want to to see in this third wave. But first of all, we need to see any kind of indication it's turning around without a five wave move up or some kind of a, a structure here, some kind of momentum with volume, there is no low, okay? And it can of course follow the wedge pattern further to the downside. The thing is just that as long as we stay above the 2.03 cent level, that's the bullish support, I'm leaning towards the upside. Below that level, a break below that level is going to tell me that things are going to get much more bearish. And the probabilities for a potential bullish outcome of this 1-2 setup, which is one of the best setups in Elliott Wave, is going to reduce. Yeah? So there is a potential here that we get a third wave rally. At the moment, in general, I need to stress that again. At the moment, in general, the altcoin market does not look terribly healthy. A lot of the altcoin charts look pretty sad. To be honest, the Gala chart also looks a little bit sad. I mean, they're just not getting off the ground. I mean, if they do, it can happen immediately. We've seen that on the Rune chart, okay? And typically then people are not positioned. Um, that's why I like to call out these support areas. Surely they don't work every time, but you can decide either you want to chase or you want to be positioned before a rally starts and then risk getting stopped out, but then at least uh, very close to the, to the invalidation level, right? That's about reward to risk, right? It's all about identifying high reward, low risk trade setups. Don't know if you've seen the rune chart, same story, right? It's just that Gala is in a similar situation, but Gala hasn't hasn't moved yet. And uh, surely it will depend to a degree on the general sentiment in the crypto market that is to a degree shaped by Bitcoin. So far, Bitcoin isn't really give us, giving us a clear direction. We are still bullish on Bitcoin, but in the very short term, we would need some kind of movement probably to spark some interest in the altcoins as well. But yeah, so far it's not really doing anything, just sideways action. We're tracking the movement to get the first indication that a low is established. That's my update about Gala. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.